Look at that. We got eight now. And uh, questionable opening hand. So let's just go with that. I start. In this scenario, I actually like uh, tempoing. May your sword and arm Playing the witchers and kind of hoping that the opponent has to answer with uh, a lot more cards. You can't figure out the last gold in the list. An ill wind. That was a good tempo. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Oh, Vesemir? What? No, no, no. Uh, do you know the 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 deck list now? Shom us who? What a name. I don't know which ones you've written down. It would be nice if the if CD pair actually just uh, I don't know like integrates some kind of an easy way to copy deck lists or just like share deck lists. That's what they are planning. I kind of made fun of that, but uh, it would be nice. They can hide, but there is no escape. Yeah, probably I'm just gonna play another archer, then pass. You might have the witchers, because everybody has the witchers. They do plan just that. That's on stream, I know. Gambit, RNR, Roach, Yorvet, Pit, Horn, Kieran, Witchers, what's missing? Oh yeah, Pafko. I ha I have Burza because why not? I never miss. We just gotta have. We just gotta take Burza on an adventure. It's it's a bit of a mixed list. Traps with elves left by a dwarf. We got humans there too, because why not? And it's the end of the world. There you go. Let's just pass. So he has to get 9 points. And he can a little bit correct it with Aetne. So that's why I a little so bit dislike pushing round 1. Yeah, sure. Because, okay, I didn't play the Ragnarok. If he passes and we just go to round three, I'm okay with that. This is a good hand. There's not much else I want. Right, let's go with that. Do you pass? He can play one thing. When cute traps meet uh, beardy horny dwarfs, it's the end of the world. Wow. It, it's unintended. Peace with humans, and by thus. Okay, uh, let's start some value generation. That doesn't really matter too much. This Vrihi Dragon kind of tells me that he wants to get away from this round, but for some reason still played something, which is a little odd. And that is an odd choice. He... I need to move the smuggler now. 
Because we actually stand to gain a card advantage. I don't want to play Pofko, because if we play Pofko, he hits this for one, burns down both, and I'm sad. Not good. And I'm not quite ready to play Ragnarok. So I think I'm just gonna go with that. Well, that sucks. I don't really want to hit either of those. Maybe we can hit the one in the back. How much he wants to push me here? I can get out the traps. And we can save Ragnarok for last turn. can also play the... What is that? Riot! What? <laughs> kills them both. Well, it just kills one of them. Okay, never mind that. I don't have a lot of units. But I can play this. But we gotta need more units just to use the Mahakam horn. This guy. Taste of your own medicine. We go like that. This is bad. Maybe I should have played. Well, we got. We just get punished now. I didn't play the Ragnarok, and now we are planning to use it next turn. I definitely need two units at least to use the Mahakam horn. Holy fuck! Would you stop? Oh my god. I don't have any units! What is this? Okay, you're if it's Gambit. I'm sick of this. So he's probably gonna assume that one of those is a Mahakam's horn. Which would be incorrect. I think we need to Yorvet. Put back the Pitfall Trap. Enough of this farce. Fedrai Enrei! Put down the Mahakam horn. This is gonna be eight. But I can just flip this. And pass. Did I need to do that? I think, yeah, I think I did. Okay, we're in trouble. Uh, that's gonna be valuable. That's gonna be somewhat valuable. Uh, this is gonna be a 7 at most. How many movements I'm gonna have? It doesn't show. Okay, we don't know. This could be useful. I don't think this is gonna be very useful. A lot of movement is not going to be very useful. Let's just let's just go with that. I can start with uh, a sentry. So they're both going to be played on the melee row, hopefully. Hopefully he's not going to play some dumb crap that I can't target. Maybe they are pitfall trap in the back. This is the this is so uninteractive. Jesus Christ. Or maybe it's interactive. It's the ultimate interactive. <laughs> he has a trap counter, but he died. Uh he doesn't have a way to burn down both of them. So that's not gonna be an issue. Can I just play Ragnarok? Oh my god.
What if I move this guy to the range row? Well, I gotta play the crushing trap. And do I just throw this other guy in the fire? Why not? <laughs> Punch him! There's nothing to crushing trap on! Son of a bitch! Wait, what? He doesn't have an elf. We got him! My four is better than his four! What is this? Come on. Everything is dead. Nothing... well... The, the world is on fire, but... This is weird. The crushing trap would have been like a two. <laughs> anyway, GG. Apparently we were just too good. Okay, a Morven. Mm. Actually, I don't want to draw into Witchers. So this could be a scenario where we have multiple ways to approach this situation. We go first. What I can do is try to tempo. I can just play some weak, weak unit or like... Ideally, we should just play three powerful cards. And ideally, the opponent has to play uh, five powerful cards. Or five cards to overcome it. It's a bit unrealistic. What else we can do is maybe just like not play too much. Again, we want to achieve a long round three. Don't really care if we go... Uh, first or last, last round. I can also use up Ragnarok to try to guarantee uh, I smile at. Weapons a longer, a long round three. What would you guys choose? Like, we have many ways to approach this scenario. And boost right away. So currently we have a pretty good tempo lead, and that's a value generator. We can just hit that, and just drop down some tempo. Although he can probably follow it up with some tempo. He's in a pretty bad spot. He does have a, he has a hero power, but we're in the lead by 18 points. So if I pass now... The chance that he regains, well, he just takes me out in one card is basically zero, right? I can't think of a single card that takes me out instantly. So he has to play two cards. Then he has to choose to push me with two cards down, round two. Again, I don't care too much about controlling the game. And now I have a 18-point lead, and he has two value generators, and I can just, like, if I kept putting like some four pointers on the board that would actually be like me slowing down and making it easier for him to catch up so the best part is just like passing so it's just thinning even like this he needs to play a relatively powerful card it actually worked out pretty good because he played the dumb magni i think he if he plays the witcher that's that takes it uh, that should be... I strive above all to be just. Yeah, that's, that's good. So this is a good outcome. We managed to keep Ragnarok and the traps. And the likelihood that he's gonna push us is not high. We only have access to one trap, unfortunately. And some trap synergy cards, which doesn't really make sense. Without trap. Now we have two traps. Huh. Maybe I'm just gonna throw away the Elven Scout. Okay, let's just go with that. I'm really looking for my double trap card.
Honestly, I'm just here for to hear the best pronunciation of Dao ever. How else do you say Dao? So what's our plan? So he did. Maybe he didn't have the Witchers, but. Yeah, but does he want to keep playing cards? Okay, let's play the Smuggler. Just to pass. Okay. This is interesting because... Well, actually not interesting. Never mind, this is boring. <laughs> I lied, guys. We can just play two bronze noobs. And we're good. Peace with humans? I thus. So the only thing I really cared about is getting to round three, having my Ragnarok, having my traps. And he doesn't even know about the Ragnarok. He doesn't even know about the traps. Holy crap, this is so bad. So, if he could guarantee that we're gonna have Jorvid's Gambit, that would be awesome. But, he can't. But how do I do this? What is the least useful trap here? I think it might be Mahakam's Horn. That's no good. And I, I still kind of want the trap. Oh boy. Maybe we're just gonna throw away one crushing trap. This is so bad. But... I guess we gotta believe. We're just gonna believe. Well, we foolishly believed. I can just play this guy. Maybe he's gonna... Uh, get locked, healed, whatever. He's probably gonna... There's, there's something probably coming his way. The worst part about this deck, in my opinion, is that we need a little bit more consistency. If we could have the Yor Yorvitz Gambit and Ragnarog more reliably, we would have a... Uh, well, a little bit higher chance of winning. I'm not sure how to do it. One thing that I considered is maybe like putting in more elves and try to have Ali Ran in it. But that's gonna... Well, I do have a lot of elves already. <laughs> wow. I guess he saw that. He's thinking to himself, I guess this guy's not playing uh, four traps. I can just throw, throw him in the fire. Yeah. Yeah, let's play an Elven Scout. Only death here Hit this. One. And throw the pony in the fire. Oh yeah, punch him too. Okay, the pony's still burning. We could have moved a uh, path coat to try to keep him alive. I'm not sure how long that would have kept him alive. Okay, let's just play an Elven Scout. Taste of your own medicine. No one in be Wow.
A lesson in humility coming now. <laughs> really? It's very tempting to just throw stuff into the fire. Yeah, I kind of want to do that. I don't know how much value the sentry is providing, but uh, with all the fire and whatnot, and probably the crushing trap, I guess it's okay. Remember when Ruhim was Imba? Oh, wait, what? Endpoint boost. So that guy's just gonna be the champ. He's gonna. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just hit him. He's just gonna stand in the fire and generate me some good value. I like that. After that, we are playing your vet, putting back the pitfall trap, but actually playing a crushing trap. Oh, never mind that. That looks good. And he's gonna be like, oh shit, I gotta avoid the pitfall trap. What? Is it really Leto time? No way. Okay, Pitfall Trap. My question is, how do we handle this? I think moving Leto... He has more units in the front, but I also want to have the... The Ragnarok value. And also have want to have the Sentry value. I think that's how we're gonna play it. Move Cairo next to. That's not crazy, but pretty good. And good luck taking it with your last card. What tactic card? You didn't want to play a tactic card. GG! <laughs> The, the trick with the pitfall trap is so cool. I do like it. Maybe the uh, the fire traps should be the same. Just just cancel the card the opponent is gonna play before they play it. Just have three cards like that. No problem.